Here's an email I got about two weeks ago. Rishav Ghosh tells me, uh, Sir, sometimes while studying, I don't feel like studying as nothing is going into my head. I don't know why. Can you tell me what to do if this happens and how to tackle it? Excellent question, man. Like, amazing. We've all been here. Let me classify this problem for you. It can be acute, chronic or transient. Acute meaning that it happens rarely or maybe it happens a little bit occasionally and it lasts for a short period of time and then you realize you really need to study and you overcome the problem. Chronic is if it's happening every single time that you try to sit and study and transient is it happens sometimes. Now if you're facing this for that sometimes transient problem just skip to the part there and watch the video clip that I made for you. Rest of you people stay with me here. So if your problem is acute, most likely it lies in the method of studying and the subject but not in you. The best way to learn something is to teach it. Discuss more than you read. If you can't find somebody to discuss the entire topic with, what I do is I explain the topic to myself. For example, I'm reading something such as forensic medicine, which I personally find to be a difficult subject. I read the topic and I explain it to myself or one of my friends. What this does is it works two ways. First of all, it gives you the ability to know the topic in great detail and then explain it so that any questions arising from that particular mess, you can tackle them easily. Second thing, it also benefits the person who is hearing. So two people are getting benefited. Another thing which you can try is changing the style of your learning. Meaning, let's take biochemistry for example. Anyone who has tried to read biochemistry has gotten bored in some point or the other. That is in the first hour itself. Instead of just reading it passively from the textbook, you can practice standing in front of the flow chart of metabolism, reading it again and again. So, what it does is that you get all the composite information which is written in the textbook in a format which is easily readable and understandable and takes much much less time. You can also do some things like instead of just reading something you can go watch videos all over the internet for free. One of the questions that I get asked all the time over Instagram is Sir, anatomy is such a vast subject there are so many origins, so many insertions, so many things we have to learn. How do I keep all of this information in my head while reading some new other subjects? So the thing which I usually answer to every single one of you over that topic is that I suggest you to draw as many diagrams as you can. Because if you're drawing a diagram, first of all, you know exactly how the relationships of the different things are in that particular thing which you're drawing. Another way the more diagrams you draw, the more you get practiced for doing it in your exams. Now there's always a pattern for every single subject which will allow the best form of you know, understanding and reading. For anatomy it's diagrams, for physiology it's flowcharts, for biochemistry it is a lot of revision. Now if you feel like the subject's a big subject and you happen to get bored of it a lot, so what I suggest you is that don't just sit there and cram at the subject for three hours that's not efficient at all what i usually do is like if i want to study something which requires three hours i break that down into separate bits of 45 minutes people do do it for 25 minutes or 30 minutes it's called the pomodoro method it's quite famous by now sit at 12 read for 45 minutes the subject you want to read first shift the subject after 45 minutes come back to the initial subject so this way if you're intercalating the boring subject in between of the interesting ones the flow of information will be much easier and you won't face that much problem so maybe the problem you're facing is a chronic one that is most of the times that you sit and study you get distracted at some point of the time and then you quit studying and then never come back to the topic that you left now in chronic situations such as this the problem does not lie in subjects the problem basically lies in your schedule and whatever you're doing in your daily life now listen to this very carefully. Monotonicity kills curiosity. If you are having the same routine for every single day, waking up, going to college, coming back, chilling out a little bit, studying the same subject in the same sequence and then going to sleep, it's going to kill your efficiency. 
Always remember, the more you shuffle your schedule around, the better productive you are. If you're going to sit and study in the same place for two months, the amount of work that you're going to be getting done from one place is going to go down exponentially. So number one tip here is change your routine. Now obviously we can't change our 9 to 5 colleges. We can't do that. But what we can change is the time apart from that. You're a night owl. Try waking up at 5 for some days. I know most of you people are going to be telling me that that's not possible. It's deep fitted into our mentality. It's genetic that one can be a night owl or an early bird but try it for four days and come back and tell me the same thing changing your sleeping habits can affect drastically go go to bed early wake up early and then see what difference that does it make in your life so changing your routines is one of the most important things that we should practice because the amount of information that we have taken is so much and monotonosity sets in quite early like do it for two weeks and you'll get bored change your routines that's important adding a skill to your life can have such a drastic effect on yourself for example for me it was the guitar when once i picked up the guitar it was just another level for me when you get bored from a subject just do your intended skill and that would really benefit you a lot it can be anything from drawing to writing poems to just playing the guitar Add a skill and see the magic happen to you. Have daily goals. What do you mean by that? I usually have the entire single day planned out minute by minute before the day actually starts. So tomorrow's day will be exactly planned out tonight. Every minute of it. Having the precise control of your time makes you very efficient. Setting goals of a particular day is so important. I can't understate how important that is. If you have a daily schedule and it is different and you make a new one every single day and you stick to it, you are the most productive person on the planet. Another thing you can try is group studies. It is not for everyone but if you are into it, it's amazing. For example, you have studied a topic and now you don't feel like revising it again. What you can do is assemble a group of people which we usually do, the group of 8 people and we gather around at any place and explain the bits and pieces of that topic per person to each other what it does is that at the end of eight people explaining the topic to each other the topic is entirely over and everybody knows what everybody else knew group studies are amazing try it another thing you can try is if you're sitting on one place for a long time i highly suggest that change the place you're studying for example i have one primary table a secondary table a tertiary table if i don't have any place to study i go and sit on the stairs and study Changing places is highly productive. If you're sitting and studying in the same place for a lot of duration, you'll end up having fatigue. So don't do that. Another main thing that may be distracting you chronically is your phone. Now there are several apps which can help you control your phone habits. And I highly suggest using your phone only when it's required. Now if your problem is transient, it just appeared and you want to get rid of it. And it's not happening very often to you. Now, I read a line in physiology last year that the first site for fatigue in the human body is not actually at the neuromuscular junction or at the muscle. It actually lies in the brain. That is in motivation. It has long been known that if you have a motivation to do something, you will do it. So check out this small clip that I made for you. Hope this helps. Somebody's life will depend on your hands one day. Skill them in such a way that they are the best anyone can get. When you sign up for being a medical student, you signed up for all the hard work you have got to do. For all the books that you have to read. For all the names you have to learn. For all the sleep you have to give up. For all the assignments you have to complete. For all the plans you have to cancel. For all the kindness you have to display. For all the proud you have to feel. And for all the happiness you have to gain. Go and study dear doctor. Go and study. Hope that helped. My name is Anuj Pachel. Signing out.